and press that button and i think we're live good afternoon everybody uh paul's with me this afternoon hello we're going to be doing project l square one uh let me know if you can hear us and you can see us okay and thank you to everybody who is joining us on this sunny friday afternoon it is I and mean, it's very sunny in the studio because i've got all the lights on um but yes we're going to be showing you project l square one which as it says on the box is an off offspring of the project l family tree don't worry if you're not familiar with the original game of project l we're going to be doing a full tutorial it is a standalone game it's not an expansion but it is it's definitely in the same family it's it's a very similar game and if you do know project l once i start explaining the rules you'll be thinking wait a minute this sounds very very uh very very familiar and and it is i kind of describe this as the same game but different because I, I like giving useful information like that <laughs> to people yeah um we're going to be doing a two-player tutorial today and then after we've done this we're going to be stopping this video and i'm going to be showing you the solo game so in about uh 49 no 59 minutes time we're going to be back here on the channel with a solo playthrough to show you how the solo game works but this is a one to four player game is it one to four or is it one to five i can't remember one to four one to four player game and um it is an abstract game it doesn't try to put any theme on the game we're not collecting animals or anything like that we are just collecting colored colored pieces and trying to complete these sequences we're going to be playing the game uh, over a series of turns we will each take it in turns and when the end of the game is triggered which is when this stack runs out there are 14 of these in a two-player game with more players you use more tiles so there's 14 10 of which are in there four of which are here uh, when this deck is empty not this one just this one that triggers the end of the game we finish that round and we do one more round and we we count up the scores the scores that you're going to get in this game are you will notice and if we just zoom in on these pieces here or these sequences these are the black sequences in other words they came from this deck and these are the white sequences because they came from this deck even though these are black on the front these are called white sequences because they came from this deck and you will notice straight away and if you remember project l you will notice that this is a difference the white sequences don't have any victory points on them the black sequences do so in the original project l the white sequences were easier to complete and the black sequences were harder it's still the same here but in the original game some of the white sequences did have victory points now they don't so the white sequences the only benefit for completing these is that you will gain the pieces shown on them whereas the black sequences these are worth points yep. So you might think that if you spend the whole game just doing these white sequences, you're not going to get any points. Well, that's not quite true because the new rules are we have these combo tiles. And whenever you manage to complete more than one sequence on the same action, mm -hmm. you gain a combo tile. On the same turn? On same the same action. action. So if you manage to complete two sequences with the same action, you get one of these which is worth one point. If you complete three sequences with the same action, you get one of those. And if you complete all four sequences, because you're only allowed to have four sequences with one action, you get one of those. And they are okay. worth the points printed on them. So essentially, you could try and go for completing lots and lots of little easy to complete sequences. And every time you do four at once, even if those four are white, you won't get any points for the sequences, but you'll get one of those. Or you could just go slow and steady and say, I'm going to take that and I'm going to try and do it, two mm. points and, and so on. Um, and it, it's how you mix and match that over the course of the game. Right. Now, the next thing I want to mention to you is that this is a prototype copy of the game. And if I press this button here, you will see these are the pieces that we're going to be using today. These are wooden pieces and... These are not what they're actually going to look like. What they're actually going to look like is these, which are like acrylic-y, plastic -y pieces with nice rounded corners. If you've played the original game, you will know the quality of the production on these. But they weren't able to send me enough of these for today's playthrough. So for today's playthrough, we are using these wooden pieces. Just be aware that they're not going to look like this in the final version of the game. They're going to look like this. And the reason why it is called square one, and again, the other big difference between this and the original game, is all the pieces are exactly the same shape. 
But what they've done is they've taken the abstract game of Project L and they've abstracted it even further. <laughs> so instead of tessellating pieces to try and fit them into a puzzle, you are actually just using those pieces to complete these puzzles here. Right. That's enough of an introduction. Let's dive into the details of, of how the game plays. We're going to pick star player at random. So I'm going to put these in my hand. And Paul, if you get the red one. This one. That is the red one. You are the star player. All right. Uh, every player starts with two yellow pieces and a green piece. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen is on your turn, you've got three actions. Now, your player aid actually gives you pretty much the rules of the game. Just before we started, Paul read through the player aid. And by the end of reading through it, he had one question and then he knows how to play. So <laughs> this is a really simple game that you can teach. Uh, and I have played this game with gamers and families. And it's one of those few games which actually works with both. Quite a lot of family games you won't find gamers actually liking because it's not enough depth. But this is one of those games that I think does work with um, with both groups. And that's not me trying to sell it to you. That's just me being honest of the, the times that I've played this game. Anyway, going back, you've got three actions. Let's go through the three th different things you can do. First action you can do is you can gain a new yellow piece. So literally you just spend one action, take a, yellow, a new yellow piece and you put it in here. The second thing you can do is you can take any one of these sequences from the market. Now, I mentioned earlier, you can only have four sequences in front of you, but you can take any of these as one action and you put it in front of you. As soon as you take it, it gets replenished from the appropriate deck. And remember, the game ends when this deck is empty, even if there's some, well, there will be four in the market. Uh, the third thing that you can do on your turn is you can place one piece into a sequence. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not one piece you can fill a row. So let's just show you the sequences again. This is a nice and easy one to explain. With one action, you can put one yellow piece in there and you've done it. Now you've not completed that sequence. You could then do another action and put another yellow piece in here and that sequence would now be complete. However, if there are two spaces like this one, what that means is that you need to use one action and put two yellow pieces in. Oh, okay. So it's one action to fill the row. You mm. cannot partially fill the row, and you, you wouldn't do that because that, that's a waste. Mm -hmm. So it is one action to fill a row on a sequence, and you've got to fill them in order from top to bottom. So you can't start with one of the later rows. Now, if you see a vertical line like this, it gives you an option. This line, or this row, can, can be completed either by using a yellow and a green or a blue. And that's what the shaded area means. The shaded area means that might not be used. Mm. Okay. If, you, if you're only placing a single blue, you put that on there. So with one action, you choose one of your sequences and fill the topmost empty row. But that's inefficient. Mm. What you really want to do is you want to do the master action. So the master action, you may only do once per turn. So even though you've got three actions, the master action you can only do once on your turn. And it allows you to place in every single one of your sequences. So you fill the top row in every sequence. You don't have to do all of them because sometimes if you're trying to complete four at once, you might want to skip one of them and say, okay, I'll do that one, that one, and that one, and leave that one. And then on your next turn, you'll go master action and fill, fill all four. You, you can do that. So yeah, the master action yeah. is what you want to be aiming to do. And that's how you manage to get these. And that's how you manage to get those. Yeah. Now, what happens when you complete a sequence? Well, when you complete one of the white sequences, you get all of the pieces back that you used, and you get the bonus. And then that goes to the discard pile. If we ever run out of white sequences in here, mm. we reshuffle the discard pile and go again. You don't keep these because they're not, not worth any points. Yeah. If you complete one of the black sequences, you get all of the pieces back, but you don't get any more pieces as a reward because you're getting the victory points instead. So that's what happens when you complete a sequence. Now, there are two other actions that we haven't explained. The first one is merge, and the second one is split. So with merge, you take any number of your pieces and you merge them together into one piece of, a, of the same number of blocks on it. So I could take my green, which has got two pips, two whites, that's a four. I could merge them together into any one of those fours. And the split action 
is the reverse. Now, just a couple of clarifications. When you merge and when you split, it can only be you can only merge into one piece, and you can only, you can only split from one piece into multiple pieces. So you can't merge multiple pieces together and say, okay, I'll have a I four and a three, like yeah. and you can't split a four and a three into lots of ones, things like that. Uh, and that is it. So James is saying Paul's pointy stick looks different. Yes, it's been altered. Uh, Rob Turner, who is going to be coming around this evening, uh, he does crafting, he does woodwork, and he made me this. So this is my new special pointy stick of power. <laughs> Right, are we ready? Yes. Okay, if you've got any questions about the game, uh, Border Cubator, I would have hoped, would be in the chat, but I... No, oh, no, they are. Yeah, uh, Matush is here. If it's, the, if it's the Matush from Border Cubator, it might not be. It might just be another one. Um, but Border Cubator, if you are here, please please say hello in the chat. Um, and this game is going on Kickstarter next week. There is a link to the Kickstarter in the description of the video. I have no idea on things like price, uh, when it's going to be delivered or anything like that, but I can tell you that this is a game which I think he's finished. Um, yeah. So it's not like it's going to go and have six months more development or anything like that. Uh, okay, Matushi is the other one. Right, okay. So yeah, if Board Cubator is here, please say hello. Right okay. then, Paul, you'll go. Three actions. So I'm going to take one from one sequence. That gets replenished. One action. Yep. Two actions uh, left. So I can do two actions like this. You can place one. And you can place two. Yep. So that's that done. Complete that sequence. You get those back. Get these back. And a green. And a green. And I'm just going to put that over here on the discard pile. Yep. So that's your strategy, is it? The yellow, yellow, green opening. Go, go, go for green. <laughs> go for the yellow, green opening. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Right. Yellow, green um, gambit. Yeah. I mean, essentially, top strategy, don't go for the black pieces first because you don't have enough pieces yeah. to complete them and you will end up getting really stuck and then doing inefficient action. So you need to be going for the some of the white ones first. Mm -hmm. um, but because you don't have many, that that's not a bad start for you because you've now got extra pieces. Whereas if I was to take this, this or this, I, I, I can't actually complete yeah. those with yeah. the pieces I've got, which means I'm going to be have to gaining pieces and everything else. This one's that quite good. nice. That's good. Yeah, that's a nice one. That is quite a nice one. Um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my first action to take that. I'm going to put it here. That gets replenished. Then I'm going to use my second action to take that one. And that gets replenished. And then I'm going to do the master action. So the master action allows me to basically fill the top row of any number of my sequences. So I'm going to fill the top row of that one. Nice. And the top row of that one. Yeah, nice. Effectively, I've saved an action. I've been, yeah. I've been efficient. You've by been a bit that. more efficient. Yeah, but not that much more. And that's it. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to take... That's quite tricky. Yeah. Well, well, I've got two uh, greens. Yeah, that's okay for me. Maybe not. Uh, I'm going to take that one. And I'm going to do, I can't do a master action. You can't because you, because you I can't, three I can't complete. So I can, I can just do uh, one on one sequence. You can. Is that right? That's, that's the yeah, inefficiency. Yeah, yeah not that, doing that's master the place action. action. Yeah. Okay. Place one piece that's on it. one so piece. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. And now I'm only down to one piece. Yeah. So yeah. So that's, that's where you can come a bit stuck, but placing that there finishes that and that gets me that okay, so which gets me that but i don't need that unless you would have taken something unless else i was to take something yeah. else which is probably i am going to probably take that one but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place that there so that's completed that yeah i get those back could i have a dark blue piece please yeah. that's action number one action number two Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, I'm going to take this for action number two. And then... Ooh. So I'm planning on doing that. I'm trying to be greedy. Mm hmm and 
I probably shouldn't be too greedy. So I'm just going to do action number three. I'm just going to place that in there. Okay. okay. Yep. Uh, James is asking, do the component trays come with the game or they're just more? But just mine. They're just mine. They're, they are my component trays. They don't come with the game. I just thought it looked nicer to have them like that than I'm going to gain. Normally, you just have them in a big pile on the table. Okay. So I'm going to gain one yellow. So you're going to gain a yellow piece. Yeah. Okay. I'm then going to take. I'm going to take this one. Now I'm going to do a master action, mm. which is to do that and that and that. Yeah, that needs two green. That needs two green. Yeah. Yeah, that was the other plan. Yeah. Let's do that. So master action did <laughs> does that. So it completes this that one. Completes that one. That one goes over there. Yeah, that's uh, on the discard pile. Discard pile. I get one of those. We're probably not going to run out of these in a two-player game, but you yeah. you do with four players definitely. Yeah. Okay. And you've still got an action left. I did a gain. A gain, a take, and a, play, and a master. And a okay, master. you don't. Right, I am going to, first action, I'm going to place that there. That completes that. Could I have a yellow and a light orange, please? Okay, the preview page for the Kickstarter does show some nice component traits. Ooh, good to know. Thank you, Phil. That was my first action. Right, now then, my second action is going to be to take that one no. and then my third action <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to take that one. Okay, you'll go. Okay. I didn't do a master action. So. I wanted one. Yeah, I wanted one with a master action there. Okay, I'm going to take one. I am going to um, split. Oh. I'm going to split. So you've got a four. Oh, that's a that's a that's a four. Four. Yeah. It is a four. So I can split it into a two and uh, two twos. Two ones. Two ones rather. Yeah. Don't make. Does that make four? That does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to do a master action. Yep. Yeah. Which is uh, one there. Green in there. One a green there. in there. And a green in there. Green in there. Nice. And two in there. No, no, no. that's it. Me. Right. So I think. Yeah. So I'm going to do a master action first to put that there, that there, and okay. that there. Nice. But now, do I place that, or do you wait for another master action? Well, the problem is I've only got that bit more, aren't you? I'm going to have yeah. to spend. Yeah. So no. Yeah. Yeah. So was that my first action? Yes. That was my first action. Second action, I'm just going to place that, which completes it. Mm -hmm. Could I have a purple, please. And then my third action. Hmm. I'm just going to gain new yellow piece. There you go. Okay. So first action, gain the yellow. Yeah. You got enough yellow? Oh, you do need lots, don't you? I do need one more. So second action. Get the yellow. More. Third action. Master. Master. One. Uh, no, that needs yellow and green. It needs yellow and green. I'm trying yeah. to cheat. I'm trying to cheat there. Okay. Uh, might so, not be quite so many yellow. So you could just place so that. I could place that. Master action and place that. You could, but then you're not getting any combo. But you probably uh, need the blue, don't you? To well, I need the blue yeah, to do okay. that, the red or the blue. Yeah. So. I'm just going to do the master action there. Yep. So that completes okay, that so one. That completes that. Okay, you a blue. Gives me a blue. Um, yeah, I think that's it. You did three. I did. I did two. I did two takes. Yeah. So master action. I think. Yep. Yeah. Right. So. I. 
I mean, this this is nice, but I don't need it. Mm. So, why don't you start taking some advanced cards? I think I might do be doing some splitting myself as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to need it later, but I don't. The split is actually quite interesting. I don't need it right now because yeah, you need to see what else you can take. Yeah. So I'm going to take that as my first action. Okay. Then I am going to split that. So could I have a light orange and a yellow, please? So first action was to take. Second action is to split. Third action is to place. Yoga. Okay. Um, my first action is to take this one. Second action. Is to place one. Mm -hmm. Third action is master action. those two okay yeah i think that's so it. you have completed two sequences two, two at sequences. once which gets you one bonus point yay am i winning he's winning i'm winning let's stop now it's got a point <laughs> don't get your rewards oh thank you yeah so lots of rewards two yeah. greens green, blue and a purple green and a purple. so for those people watching if you have played project l before what's your initial thoughts on this one and if you haven't played any of the other Project L games, let us know what you think about this so far. What do you think about me winning? One point to zero. So, in order for me to do this, I'm going to need a green. Yes. I'm going to have to lose this. You're going to split that. First action, split. Yep. Could I have a green and a yellow, please? Okay, right. Second action, I'm going to move. Do we no master it up? No. So I'm going to complete points. all of this. Good points. So I've completed three sequences, which gets me that. So that's two points. Uh, right. So I get all of these back. So I need a yellow. That's nice. Two green. Yeah. A light orange and a dark orange. Wow. Right now we're cooking. You are cooking on gas. You go. Yeah. Take. Uh, Phil missed the specifics of the merge action. Uh, you can merge any number of pieces into one piece. And the split is the opposite. It's one piece into any number of pieces. So I'm going to uh, place. So I did a... Ah, Patrick is here from Board Cubator. Excellent. Thank you very much for joining in. So um... send Patrick any questions if you've got them. Like, what's the price of fish? <laughs> okay, so I placed one. You placed one, first action. Okay, first action. Second action is a master action. You've got two yellows and two greens. Two, and I've got two greens. There you go. So, okay. there you go. You've completed two at once. And then my third action. So I get that now. You get that now. Along with... A red and a light a blue. and a light blue. And I'm going to take... Right. Good. So the first time I played this, I, I made a mistake and I switched to black. Yeah. And, and stuck to black and I switched too early. All right. Um, I think we're going to go with a, a hybrid approach. There's nothing to stop me going back for some white ones either. Well, afterwards. I'm, 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 I'm going to go for a mix. I, yeah. I believe that's yeah. probably the best thing to do. So yeah. we're going to do that. I'm going to take this. Ooh. Yeah. That looks tasty. I'm going to take this. No. Well, you are going well. Have you got a blue? No. no I'm, I'm going to have to be, green, I'm going to have to be merging. I take that. So that's two takes. And.
I'm going to take that. So three takes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this one. Yes, the Kickstarter goes live next Tuesday. So as I said, there is a link to it in the description of this video. Mm. Okay, so that's that's quite nice as well. I'll have that one. Thank you. And then I'm going to do a master action. Okay. Which is that one, that one. Let's have that around. That one, that one there. And I'll do a two, that one. Oh, I think I'm going to do that. No, I'm not. You've got some yeah. big pieces there, haven't you? I do. It's quite good. Mm. But I actually need, I am going to go with the green there. I'm going to go green there. And hope that I get, because I need, I'm sorry, I'm going to change that. I'm going to go blue. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Yep. That's me. My go? Yep. I'm going to take. So I am now at my limit. Ah, four. Okay. At four. Yep. yep. I am then going to do the master action and put that in there, that in there. That in there and that in there. Nice. Right, and I've got one action left. And. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, with that one action, I am going to. Ah. Agonize. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of that and all of that. Okay, so I am going to, as my third action, I'm going to merge those three yellows yep. into a dark blue. Okay. okay. Now, there's no extra points for completing a black with a white. Nope. No, it's just it's only, so it's a number of whites that you complete on the same. No, it's the number of puzzles you complete, black or white. Number of puzzles. Yes, yeah, just yeah. Right. Okay. In the words of somebody famous, it doesn't matter whether it's black or white. <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So a quick question then. Yeah. If I do a master action, mm -hmm. it says I complete up to one row, so I don't yeah, have so to don't complete have to do one. each one. So I'll right. give you a bit of a hint. The next yeah. time I do a master action, yeah. I'm not going to finish that. Yeah. I'm going to put, I'm gonna put them in them, you want... and then I'm going to try and do a master yeah. on all of them. I'm yeah. probably not going to succeed, but that, that's my plan. Yeah. All right. Well, let me... Let me... Uh, Junior Flacker says, do you need to have Project L to play Square One? No, this is a, a completely standalone game. Uh, it's in the same universe. It's in the same Project L universe, but it is a completely standalone game. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going. Derek's here from Kanjo Studios. Good to see you, Derek. I'm going to. Take... I think Elaine popped in as well. Yeah, Elaine's here as well. I'm going to take this one. Mm. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to take this one here. I think. Good. Then I'm going to do it. A master action, mm -hmm. which is to place this one. These, I've done it the wrong way around. I was looking across. Mm. It's that and that. So yeah, you've got it. You've I think I've red. got it. I think that's fine. I do that there, and then I can do two greens over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can do a yellow in here as well. And I can, oh, and a yellow in there. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to. I need that for that. I need that for that. I need to combine. I'm going to combine. I think into a. Good. I'm going to combine all four. All four yellows into one red. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yes. Nice. Okay. Nice. Right. I'm going to place those into there i am then going to place those into there that's the second action and then i'm going to do a third action yeah. which is the master action to complete nice those three puzzles so because i completed three, three puzzles at once i get that yeah uh, this one is worth points so i'm going to put that face down just off camera 
And could I have a red, a pink, and a green? Yeah. There we go. Done. Scaling up. Right. And there is an element in this game as well of observing the points situation between the players and trying to rush the end of the game. Yeah. If the game was to end right now, I You're win. going to win, aren't you? Because you've I've, got, I've, got you've... Six, I've got six points. Six, yeah. Now, you can't see that because it's very yeah, down, yeah. but it was yeah. two. So yeah. I've, I've currently got six points. But I think that's going to change fairly quickly. Yeah, if I and get these in. If you can get those in, you're going to be in the lead, yeah. and then I don't really want to rush the end. So yeah. Okay. Um, right. I need some more. I need some more. And I'm going to... It's not very efficient, but I'm going to take... Um, hmm. No, I need more. Mm. It's interesting because the original project oh. Elf had an upgrade action where you could upgrade yeah. one of your pieces to a higher level. This game doesn't have that. You can merge and split and you can gain a new yellow one, but there isn't an upgrade. So it, it restricts you a bit more. I'm going to take gain. a... I'm going to gain. Gain a new yellow take, piece, yeah. yeah. Oh, built the yellow. I'm just going to line these up so that I can see what yeah, I'm doing. that's what I did. Uh, that's a good idea. So that's that one done. Um then I'm going to use that one there, and for this guy, I want to st I want to save those. Um, do I split? No, because that needs all three. Mm. Ah, I need more. That's why I ah. stalled on this one. Yeah, because it needs a yeah. red, an orange, and a green, and yeah. I just didn't have them at the time. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to. Um, am I going to master? these i think i am i do that and then that i won't have enough for that so i'm going to have to gain some stuff aren't i to get there for that okay well i might as well do that i think i've master is that and it's that and that okay I'm just going to master that one as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to do. You're going to be able to do run out of pieces, aren't you? Yeah. So I do that. What'd so that get? gets down, and I get pink, pink and green. Pink and green. Thank you. Nice. And was that it? Uh, yes. That's my three. three that was my three actions. Yeah. So I'm going to take this one. My first action. I'm then going to take, I think I'm going to take another one. Nice, it's huge. Don't take the one that I want. Don't look at my cards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to take this one as a second. And then for my third, I'm going to master. So those go in there, that goes in there. And that, that, and that go in there. Okay, done. Three actions. So I'm going to take that one. I think Johnny's joined us. Hi, Johnny. Thank you for popping in. Um, boom, boom. I'm going to merge. No, I'm going to split. So I'm going to split that. Split the L into. Um, that's a four, so I get a three four. and a one. I'm then going to. I can't split a four into a four. Correct. You, you can split that. a four into smaller things and then merge um, those smaller things. But that's into another action. It would be two it would actions. Another action, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I think that's probably the only way I'm going to get that. So, um, not very efficient. In fact, I'm not sure that I'm shooting myself in the foot there. Okay. For my action then. So you had one action or two? I've lost track. Uh, I've lost track actually. I think, I think I took, <laughs> How many actions has Paul had? I think I took one. Um, then I did a split. Okay. 
Uh, then I'm gonna, I think you've had two actions. Yeah, I think, I think two, but yeah. somebody I'm in the chat will hopefully. Do, I'm going to do a place, which is here. Yeah. And. And that's it. Yeah. If you're just placing one piece. Yeah. 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 That'd okay. Yeah, that's fine. Are you going to be able to master all four of them or not? No. Quite? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. So we'll assume Paul had had two actions and he's just had his third. Yeah. If he's owed an action, somebody somebody let us know. Uh, right, my go. Okay. So I am going to take and I'm going to take this one missing a blue and a red for the four-way master. Oh, that, I think that's in response to can you complete all of them? Right. And I don't yeah. think you can. No, so can't. that was my first action. My second action is I am going to merge those two together for a red. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Right. And then my third action is I am going to master and put that there and that there. And Phil has just challenged me to try and do a four yeah, way, a four and, way. And, and I've done it. Yeah, I think you've got it. It does take a while yeah. to, to line yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. So I'm going to, I can split for one action. For one action. Action I number one. Split action number one. I can split a four into a three and a one mm -hmm. this is probably not the best way of doing it but i'm going to do it that way because the next thing i can do I still can't do all of this i can do that and that right um and i can that's not going to need i could merge that's not enough okay i'm just going to complete this one so second action second action is the place is the place yep which completes that. It completes that, and you get a light orange piece. A light orange piece. The third action. Action number three. Is uh, to try, <laughs> try and get the bits I need for this. <laughs> so, so it's that one, that one, and that one. So that's done. Um, that one needs a four, which is the other type, which is, um, you're going to beat me to it, but never mind. I need a four, so I'm going to merge these two. Merge those two into a to dark a four. orange. To a dark right. orange. Yeah, a dark orange, that one. Good. So, my go. Here we go. First action. Master. <laughs> put that there. Put that nice. there. Put that there. Put that there. So, I've done four sequences at once, which gets me that. Very good. That is worth points. That is worth points. I need a green, a yellow, and a blue. Very good. That was my first action. So, now it's in my interest to rush the end of the game. Yeah. Um, this is more apparent in a two-player game, but when you're playing with multiplayer, uh, well, I mean, we are multiplayer. When you're playing with, like, four players, you still probably want to carry on playing at this point because it's hard mm. to tell mm. how many of them. How, far, how much of them uh, But I have two actions left, and I think now that I've got a big stack of pieces... You don't. You can't see this stack of 12 I've yeah, got here. I'm going, to I'm going to just take that one. And that gets replenished. And... I think I'm going to take that one. Okay. So just be aware that there are only two yeah. here. As soon as these are taken, sorry, as soon as two from here are taken and this empties, you finish that round and then you play one more round. And Paul was the starting player. Okay. So uh, I'm going to master, mm -hmm. which is all of those. Ah, but suddenly, both of those. My big points lead is like. And then all of those. Okay. So you did three at once. So we did three at once. That. That's now 14 points under here, right? <laughs> Not. Well, that's another seven points you just gained. Yeah. Oh, so they're all yours. Okay. Um, second action. There's, now I want to get a point at least out of this. So I want to get one that I can actually complete. This has got four rows. It's taken a while. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a while. This one's only two. Um, that's doable. I'm going to take one there, which does that. So if you take another, one, take of another these, one, that will trigger the end of the game. Right. 
you might not want to do that. No, I don't but... want to do that, no. Um, what are we going to go? Is that's four, four. I've got all of that, I think. And then I'm going to master, which is those two and that one. Did you know master first? Your big one. Just then trying then to cheat again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I could trigger the end of the game, but then I wouldn't be able to complete these. And then you would be able to complete those. Yeah. And I think that I think you're a couple of points behind. Yeah, I'm not. So. Not yeah. Yeah. So I think I don't. Face down, face down. I need to. I need to start on these because face you down. trigger the end of the game. Yeah, they should be face down. Yeah. I think if you trigger yeah. the end of the game, I'm going to struggle to finish, finish those two. Those two. The question is, if I if I master place place, I so if, if I dedicate myself to finishing these, then I can finish them. But you're going to need three rounds. No, I can do it in two. If I've got the right pieces. Can you? Yeah. Because you can place, place, master. That's effectively four placements. Got two rounds, that's eight. I only need seven. So, yeah, that's the tricky one. I can't, I can't, do, can't it do that. I'm missing, yeah. I'm missing a particular piece there. Ah, the other purple. So, mm -hmm. oh, in fact, I need two purples. Okay, well then, what do we do? Um, just lining up for you, so make yeah. it easy for me. <laughs> just lining it so up. So I'm probably going to make a mistake here, but I'm going to take this my first action then i am going to master so i'm going to put those in there that in there and that in there so i've done two actions i took one and then i did the master and then as my third action i'm going to place that there that's it you'll go are you going to trigger the end yeah that's the question you yeah. are yeah okay so i'm going to do place uh, place the required tokens in the last empty row. Yeah. So place. I'm going to do place. Then I'm going to do master. Oh, so you're not triggering the end. Oh, I need to take one. You triggered the end. Sorry, I take one. I take one first. Okay. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter which one I take, does it really? Um, but you've placed twice. I've done two. You might not want to do one placement if you're going to master. Und undo that as well if you want yeah and then okay so basically i want to trigger the end of the okay the you need to take so one of take these, one of those and you probably want to take one that you can do uh which i can do this i think yes uh yeah okay that one. Yeah. end of the game has been triggered yeah right now that's one action you've had okay now to master yep um so i can do a place Can't do it all, can I? I You've only had one action. I had one. I've got two actions. Mm. You got two actions. But left. I can't do two masters. You can't so, do two masters. So I can do. I'm obviously missing the point. Um, I can do a place which allows me to put the empty around the top of the sequence. Mm. So I can do one of them. There's no need because what I'm thinking is if you master this turn yeah. and then master next turn, that's all of them complete. So in other words, you've got spare actions. But you can. If, if you oh, can you can't do... you can't complete no. this this turn. No. I beg your pardon. I thought you can complete this turn. No. Okay. Right. Well, I do a master because you're going to get one more turn after this master, which is that. Uh, so do you have the pieces to finish next turn? I think I do. Which I thought I did. <laughs> um, yeah okay in which case use your spare action to take to another take thing. another thing because then you'll complete yeah all of them um so can i complete yeah i can complete one of these mm. can i i've got two greens so before you did that master yeah i haven't done a master yet yeah, well, yeah you have, done, but i'm saying yeah. before you do that yeah take that take that and now when you do the master you can also I, put a piece in there i can put a green in there 
There you go. Yeah, thank you. That makes sense. My go. Yep. So. I'm a bit stuck, <laughs> but we can work it out. I am going to merge those two together into a purple. That's a three and a one into a purple. Yeah. Why did I take this one? <laughs> this is a nightmare, this one. <laughs> um, I'm going to merge those two together. So my second action is to merge those yeah. two together into, I'll just take it, it's here, into one of those. And then my third action is a master action. So that goes in there. Yeah. That goes in there. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. And you're not going to do that last one. And that's it. So okay. now so no we have one more turn each, and that's it. So off you go. One, one. This is the master action. Yeah. So of that master action. So I get they're all done. That you gain this because you did four at once. Yeah. Actually, you gain two of those. Does it, these yeah. don't matter at the no. end. No. Okay. And you, you've got two spare actions, but I don't think there's no. anything you can do with those two spare actions that no. are going to... No, because I'll have to take one and then... We will read what the tiebreaker rules are, if it was important, and... Mm -hmm. I mean, just take two yellow pieces for now. Yeah, it's fine. Right, so... I probably should have been able to take one more. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to split that into two greens... Okay, cool. and then I'm going to do the master action and put that there, that there, that there. So that's three at once, which gets me that, and gets me that. Nice. And another green. Right, we're all done. Who do we think's won? <laughs> so my score is two, four, six, eight, eleven, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one. Wow, one. Four, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen. 11, 12, 13. 17. So four points ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I've played it a few times. I've got a bit more of an idea. Um, yeah. But it, it, it's Split, interesting. Splitting and merging. Splitting and it's merging. Good. We did a lot more of that yeah. than I've done in any other game. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, and, yeah. and the reason why, in the other games that I've played of this, Oh, this gives one of those. Yes. Oh, and it's a lot easier just to take that straight away and then take that one. Yeah. But in this game, because of the way that the puzzles came out, they were a bit different. We, I was getting pieces that I didn't need. Yeah. So, so I, we, need we, we were both split. having yeah. to merge and split. But every time you're doing that, it, it's costing you an action. Mm. So yes, Paul won. <laughs> yes. Now, surprisingly, if we did tie, let's just have a look at what the tiebreaker is. Uh, you add up the score using collected combos. So it's the player who scored the most from the combos Ooh. that wins. And if it's still a tie, you share the victory. Right. There you go. That That is it. That is how you play Project L Square One. Let us know what you think about it. And as I say, there will be, uh, and there is, a link to the Kickstarter, which is going live next Tuesday. That's in the description of this video. We're all done. I'm going to pop downstairs, grab a quick drink, and we're going to be back in 10 minutes with the solo game. We're both going to be playing the solo game together, but I will show you how the solo game works, and that'll be live on the channel in 10 minutes. So, yeah, see you back here in 10 minutes. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much to Board Cubator for sponsoring this video and to all of my Patreon supporters that help keep the channel going. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Cheers. Bye-bye.